Hello, this is Francesca Simone, your Sarasota Rose at Art Ovation Hotel. And when I saw this painting, which is entitled Bliss, I wanted to find out who the creator was and how she got this inspiration. So I'd like to introduce you to Cami. Hi. Hello, Cami. Tell us about this painting and why you entitled it Bliss. Well, I was doing the meditation and I saw a vision of these colors and it was like I started in the corner and then I just started with a few of the colors and then went out from there and it was like a, an experiment and it just sounded really fun. So I started it and, and it really was. I, I use a lot of water in my paints or in my, in my paintings and so sometimes it will look like watercolors and then sometimes it'll look more like oils. This particular kind of paint is amazing. Now you have an unusual studio because most artists paint inside. And where did you create this painting? I take everything out to the ocean and I paint at the beach any, anytime I can. Not every single time, but most of the time I'll be painting at the beach. And what materials do you use? Um, I'll use sand and salt water from the ocean in the painting. And so we literally have the ocean on this canvas. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it brings the energy of the ocean into the painting and it also adds textures. And when did you start using this technique of painting on the ocean? Um, probably when I moved to North Carolina, because I was living by the ocean and I would go to the beach very often. Well, all of your paintings have this oceanic theme. You can see the vibrancy of the colors that are a mixture, as she said, of oil and the parts that look like they might be watercolor is because she has splashed water on them. And this painting is the other one that really, really caught my eye. Kemi, tell us how you created this painting. What was the inspiration for this painting? I see that wonderful star up in the corner. Yeah, this is called Go to the Source. And it's actually an interesting story. So I was staying in an Airbnb, and the guy that was running the Airbnb was marrying his children and hit on me. And I was so distraught <laughs> that I, um, I left right away, and I go back to this meditation because it calmed me, and I was doing the meditation, and I saw this. I saw like this white light, and it felt like it was God or Source or whatever you want to call it, and it came down literally from up there, came down, touched me, and just felt like it was just like healing me from that awful experience. And, um, um, and then it, and then it, and then I saw. I had a dream that night, and I saw a picture of this star in the painting. Like it was like guiding me to put the star in the paintings. I normally don't put stars in the paintings, and I was like, what? And so I just did it because it was like it felt like it, that's what I was supposed to do. <laughs> well, it is absolutely a beautiful painting, and this one with these vibrant colors tell me the inspiration for this painting okay so this one i painted this after a trip for two weeks in costa rica and so if, i feel like it has that energy in it but then it's also got a lot of florida energy because the colors I see down here are very much yellows and turquoise and I mean the water here is, is this beautiful blue 
what you can see through or like see under. <laughs> and so it's, it feels like it's a mixture of both areas to me. So you can see that this unique that Kami has is really unusual on the canvas, but take a look at her beautiful sculptures that are here. And they vary from being textured to being very smooth. And then some of her work takes on an indigenous kind of energy. So Kemi, please tell us about your textured work here. Okay, this one is called Reflection. And so what I did was I took white clay and I rolled out the clay. Like this is about one, two, three, four, five, six, six pieces. And I make the base and then I make this at the same time because they have to dry at the same time. So I roll these out, I put the texture on them, I have tools that make the textures, and then I form them, and then I put this whole base together, and then I cover it up and I leave it overnight, and then I put it all together, usually within like a few days, to make sure that it's all going to be the right consistency. So how do you get the texture? on these sculptures these like are, this one for instance these are tools that i bought that i i i just they're little uh they look like little tiny rolling pins and you just roll them into the clay <laughs> now this one is very unusual because it has texture but it looks like writing tell me exactly what that is this is a love letter that is a stamp it's a stamp that i bought but it, it was a stamp of a love letter that was handwritten um, by someone, I don't know who, it probably was on the little, it, it probably is that there somewhere, but I remember, <laughs> but, um, but it's, I pushed it into the clay, um, and then I just formed it, and I feel like it also looks like music, because it's like, the shape of it is really interesting. And how did you get that parchment paper color? Oh, this is a special glaze that you dip it in and it and it looks like glass, and especially over white clay. Um, I like white clay better because it, it'll show the colors better. They're, they tend to be lighter. And this particular one is very different because it is so totally smooth. Can you turn that around so we can see the brilliance of that blue? That is so stunning. So how did you create this piece? Um, this was actually probably the hardest one to make it so um, smooth like this. Um, it's the same way that I did the other one. I just didn't do a texture. And then you have to just keep smoothing it out and smoothing it out. And I'm really picky about glaze. So I ran this through the kiln three times. You're not supposed to do that, but I do because I'm, I'm just very picky. And I want it to look amazing. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm a painter. So like, I, the glaze has to be awesome, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. And then you have a few pieces here that are somewhat tribal in nature. At least that's how they look. Yeah. Tell us about these peaches, and they're very textured as well. These I etched with a tool, um, so I like actually like formed it, and then took the tool and and made the marks in it, and then um, and then I tip it and to a glaze. It's got like a blue tint to it, but I love this because then I like wipe it off, so that way it'll be like partially matte and partially shiny. So I like just things that are more unique and one of a kind. So, and how long have you been an artist, Kami? Oh my gosh, forever. Um, <laughs> I mean, I've been drawing since I was five. Forever. Like, that's just what I do. I've always excelled in art. And did you go to art school? Mm -hmm. I went to 
one of the best art schools, Columbus College of Art and Design. And where is that located? In Columbus, Ohio. So I, I, I went there and, um, but I, I really got more out of traveling and then painting my experiences of travels. That is wonderful. So now tell us where people can find your work. What is your website? Um, I'm on Etsy and I'm on Facebook and I'm on Instagram. And can you also um, tell us how people can buy your paintings? They can buy them from Etsy? You can, yeah, I, I put them on there because it's, they can just easily click on it. It's very user friendly and you just can buy it right then and I'll ship it to you. And what is your Facebook name so people can find you easily and maybe you could spell it just to make sure they get it? Good idea. Okay, so it's Cammie Kinnison, K-A-M-I-K-I-N-N-I-S-O-N. -N -N -N. That's a long name. <laughs> um, and what about on Instagram? It's same, is that same the same name. username? And tell us about your YouTube channel so they can go and look at some of your work. What do you put on your YouTube channel? Um, most of my work is updated on Etsy just because it's easier. And it's the um, same thing. It's, it's, you can just type in Etsy and my name. But on your, on your uh, YouTube channel, do you show how you're creating work or what can people expect to see? Yeah, on I your do YouTube have channel. Videos. I have some videos where I'm painting on the ocean. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Cami, and congratulations on being an artist in residence this week at Art Ovation Hotel in Sarasota, Florida. Thank you. Best of luck to you. Thank you so much. This is Sarasota Rose signing off.